Good afternoon. This is our BPS video update for the week of November 20th. On behalf of Dr. Conti, who isn't in the district today, I wanted to share this message that we collaborated on for staff and families. We continue to receive questions about Thanksgiving break and families that will be traveling out of state. So again, we want to clarify our district protocol for out of state travel. Please see the flowchart below this video that we hope simplifies our expectations. Our current guidelines require staff and students who have returned from out of state travel to a high risk state to be tested and receive a negative molecular test before returning to school. The list of high risk states continues to expand and currently the only states that are now considered low risk and would not require a test upon return are Hawaii, New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont. If you have any questions on these, please go to mass.gov and see the out-of-state travel details. You will find the link to that resource below this video as well. With community rates increasing, college students returning home, and Thanksgiving all occurring next week, the idea of a temporary, fully remote week for all students is strongly being considered for the week following Thanksgiving. The official announcement will be made on Monday, November 23rd. We understand that the idea of a fully remote week, allowing for students to experience more in-person learning may be a counterintuitive idea, but a significant factor in this decision is the delay in receiving molecular test results. Any family or staff member who travels will need to have a negative test upon returning. A two to five day turnaround may mean that we will not have enough staff to safely operate our schools in an in-person manner. A precautionary remote week will avoid having to cancel school on Monday, November 30th in a manner similar to a snow day. We believe that a last minute closure would be more disruptive to learning. A precautionary closure will also alleviate the contact tracing and classroom closures that will be occurring throughout the week after Thanksgiving. These classroom closures would be for 14 days or two weeks. We wish we could reassure everyone that a temporary remote week is the right decision. We are not sure, but we do look forward to opening our classrooms back up on Monday, December 7th. One other note in regards to health, we have a mandatory flu vaccine that is due in December. As you may be aware, beginning with the 2020-21 school year, this school year, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health made it a mandatory requirement for all students to have the influenza vaccine by December 31st, 2020. This flu vaccine is a requirement of all students in any model of learning, in person or remote. To allow Burlington Public Schools to have the time to process all influenza inoculations district-wide, we are requesting your compliance prior to December 16th, 2020. If evidence of your child's inoculation is not in your child's school nurse's office by December 16th, then we cannot guarantee that your child will be able to resume school on January 4th. We thank you for your understanding on this matter as we do our best to remain compliant with the state's ever-changing health regulations. That's it for this week's update. Have a great weekend.